sing it, Mama. Hello, hello. My name is Billy, and I am here to make a video about cloth diapering. Um, first and foremost, you may hear some something that may sound a little like beatboxing. It is not. My breasts do not beatbox, but they do make milk, and these are um, the LV pumps in here that are pumping milk because uh, my daughter is sleeping. So that is what that is, and I may pause to re-up, but anything that helps, you know, give me back a little bit of time is really nice, and these pumps have been wonderful. Cloth diapering. I really wanted to make this video because the moment, not the moment, that's so dramatic, I became pregnant, um, I did fairly early into it decide that I wanted to cloth diaper. I'm really into um, being as natural as possible and I realized that that is the way that I'd like to, um, you know, exist with my daughter and give her the opportunity to have a natural experience when it came to uh, diapers as opposed to um, disposables. Because you know that like gel that mushes out of disposable diapers when, you know, they get wet or they're too full? It's odd and I figured that can't be comfortable so I wanted to give her a more comfortable option. Now that I am nine months into her life and about seven months into exclusively cloth diapering, I have to say that it is one of um, the best decisions that I have made. And in this video, I'm going to explain a little bit more about the cloth diapering process and some of the things that I've learned and maybe delve into some of the perks about it. But if you're watching this video, you're probably already curious, which is the first step and I might not have to do too much convincing. Um, you might just be here for a little bit of clarity. Now, this is the YouTube. There's so many videos. Why am I making a video? One, um, I hope that this is a reflection of just the things that I've learned and therefore may help other people see, you know, some of the things that I have learned by trial and error. Um, so it's my culmination video. But also in my journey of learning, one of the main pages that I would listen to, um, she's from the UK and I'll put her name in the uh, information box because I don't want to pronounce it incorrectly. Um, so I wasn't necessarily learning from someone who's also here in the United States and uh, that matters because you know sometimes you give links and those links don't ship uh, international etc so there's that but also in all of my research i didn't see videos uh, of people of color cloth diapering and i would love to not only share my experience but also take the stigma out of cloth diapering my beautiful black family has questions about cloth diapering and i'm always excited to answer i think that um, more people of color cloth diaper than is you know publicly out there and i would love to share the experience and hopefully um encourage more people to expand talking about their cloth diapering experience and convince other people to do it because it's such an amazing choice um so let's get into it cloth diapering what is it um cloth diapering is an alternative to diapers children need diapers they're in it from the time that they're born until they learn how to um, use the toilet officially but normally we use disposable diapers um, I will drop the numbers but disposable diapers you know what let me pause for a second okay so I paused the video to do a little bit of the math because I want to make sure that I'm coming to y'all correct um, and I did Google this information because I kind of wanted to find the average and also since I've been cloth diapering for so long um, the amount of diaper changes my child needs isn't the amount of diaper changes um, that's standard for someone who is dispo using disposable diapers because the numbers aren't the same. An average baby needs about, according to the Google, eight or ten diapers a day. Uh, that's how many times you change your diaper. So I kind of just did the average. It's nine or did the middle of the average. So if a baby needs nine diaper changes a day, then you're looking at about 279 diapers a month. Okay, um, I googled the prices and for just the regular old run-of-the-mill diapers, um, 96 diapers is $28, right? Um, so in order to buy regular diapers for the entire month, you would need about $81. Now, if you are natural like me and you want a natural alternative, they have some that are really awesome. Some bamboo diapers, really cool. Um, they're a little bit more pricey. So. Uh, a box of 46 natural diapers are $24, which means that you would spend about $145 buying diapers for your child uh, in a month. 
Now, on average, they say a child can be, um, it could take between 18 months and like 30 plus months before your child is potty trained. Um, so I'm just gonna say like two years old. If your child is brilliant and they're able to potty train by two, that's kind of what I'm looking at. So after two years of using regular, regular diapers, you're gonna buy, uh, you're gonna spend about uh, $1,944 on regular diapers. And if your child is potty trained by the age of two. If you're using natural diapers, you're gonna spend about $3,480 um, if your child is potty trained and out of diapers by two, okay? So we're looking at $1,900 and $3,400 using disposable diapers. Now with cloth diapering, I would say that a good diaper stash uh, is about 60 diapers, you know? Uh, it ranges, some people choose to do 45, some people choose to do more. Um, I've aimed for like the 65 range because I find that leaves me enough where if I don't do laundry in a week, I have some extra days. And I live in an apartment and it doesn't have laundry amenities so that flexibility is really helpful for me. So that being said, you can get a pack of diapers from a few different sources. Um, and one of the places that I go to, I find it on the Amazon, um, even though they have their moral issues, unfortunately they do, uh, are really reliable and offering a bunch of different uh, things and they offer a bunch of different diaper companies, which I'm grateful for. Um, and they come quickly and they're, they're vary in prices. So my favorite brand, and this is also one of the more expensive brands, so that's what I'm going to speak on, just to say that I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, tilt the numbers one way or another. The more expensive brand and my favorite is the Nora Nursery brand. And Nora Nursery, you can get about seven diapers for $65, okay? Um, and again, I'm saying that a, a good diaper stash is like 63. Right now, that's where we are. And I don't really plan on buying anymore unless I see designs that are really cute and I want to just splurge. So in order to get your diaper stash, which is $63.65, um, at the Nora Nursery price, which is $65 for seven diapers, you're going to spend $585. And once you have your diaper stash, those are the diapers your child is going to wear until they are potty trained. So in this instance, this example, we're saying once they're two years old. So we're looking at $1,944 for a child that's potty trained by the age of two using regular, regular disposables. We're looking at $3,480 for a child that's potty trained by the age of two using natural diapers that are disposable versus $585 for a child that's potty trained by two using reusable diapers. Need I say more? Okay. So those are the price points, and I think that that is really important to mention. I'm gonna pause this video just so I can take these pumps out and start back up. Okay, so one is still in and one is out, so <laughs> I'm a little lopsided. Uh, just randomly saying that these LV pumps are amazing. They are um, discreet, they're quiet, they are clutch. And look at that, I'm real grateful. Anyways, that's not what this video is about. So the next thing I want to delve into, now that we've kind of talked numbers a little bit, is what are cloth diapers? What do they look like? There are a bunch of different kinds of diapers, um, and that includes um, diapers that you fold, um, pocket diapers, and diaper covers in which you have the, the kind of inner that they wear. That's what absorbs the movements and then you have a waterproof outside. On my videos, you will hear me talk about pocket diapers because I kind of decided while I was still pregnant that that was the route I wanted to go because it was the most customizable. And since um, her being born, it is the route that I've taken. I've experimented with some covers and some versions of cover diapers, but I found that pocket diapers are just solid. And another thing that I love about pocket diapers is that you get to um, kind of use your items across the board. A lot of diapers that require an inner and then a cover, whatever inner you have um, is for that diaper company. Uh, but you can use inserts from any company with 
the pocket diapers. And that may sound like gibberish to you, but let's break it down now. So um, the version of diaper that I'm going to be using as an example is Nora Nursery. This is what one of the outsides look like. Lots of snaps um, so that you can adjust it. See, the focus is there we go. Um, and then you have more snaps up here. You have a stretchy bit here, stretch on the side, and the pocket, which right now is completely empty. And the diaper itself is made of this waterproof material. So this is what an unstuffed diaper looks like. This is the outer, okay? And the cool thing about cloth diapers is that they come in so many different designs, different colors. You can buy the ones that fit you best or that fit your baby's personality best. I kind of like the um, less baby baby designs, like not necessarily into the rubber ducky ones, um, but I like just like the cute fashionable ones like that. If it were a shirt, I'd probably buy it. <laughs> okay, so what you have to do is you have to put an insert inside of the diapers prior to putting them on your baby. Now there are a bunch of different kind of inserts, but again, I'm just gonna be talking from my experience. So I'm gonna show you what I found to work. Uh, one thing I do wanna say is that, especially for the cheaper uh, options for diapers, sometimes they come with something called microfiber. I wish I had one to show you, but I don't because I threw them all away. And here's why. One, I found that microfiber inserts are not very absorbable but then also they're not able to go directly onto a baby's skin. And if I'm doing this for my child's comfort and safety and all that, why would I want to use an insert that can't even touch her skin? So I threw them all away and replaced them with um, the inserts that I enjoy, which is what I'll show you. So these are, uh, these are what an insert looks like. Um, and this one is also Neuro Nursery. This is a mixture of uh, polyester, but mainly bamboo. Bamboo is a really great absorbable material. It's also eco-friendly. Uh, bamboo grows like weeds, which is really nice to know. If you're into reusable sanitary um, options as a woman, they have bamboo options, which are really cool too. So I love these bamboo inserts because they're super soft. Um, do you see, my hands are rough, so that sound you're hearing is my hands, not the... <laughs> insert um it's very soft um and these have been used a bunch of times and yet you can see it is still that beautiful white color and i don't use bleach or anything when i wash her clothes okay so these bamboo inserts are my favorite and i have bought um a pack of just these kind of inserts because i like them with all my diapers even though all my diapers are not nor nursery the other kind of absorbable insert that I found that I like are charcoal um, charcoal inserts. They come in different sizes, like lengths and sizes. These ones have this like bendy material, which I appreciate. I feel like it helps with the shape um, and molding to my daughter. Uh, so this is a charcoal liner, also got from the Amazon. Um, and now this is something that I discovered over time that I realized is really helpful now that my daughter is older and just pees a lot and more in one sitting. Um, these are called overnight liners. I have not seen these on any of the other cloth diaper videos that I've watched, um, but they are kind of, they're just cotton. They're unbleached, so they're like this brown color. Um, they're thin, uh, as in like they're narrow. Um, and if we're comparing them to what an insert looks like, uh, they are relatively smaller. Now, I found that these are really awesome as an add-on to the other inserts that I showed you. So um, these were a really great option and I have at least one for every single diaper. And when I start to show you how I use the diapers, uh, I'll dig into how these work. Now, pocket diapers. Like I said before, there's a pocket at the top of the diaper, and that is where the inserts go. The thing about pocket diapers is that they're extremely customizable. You, you use and stuff them according to what your baby needs. When my daughter was younger, 
I just needed one insert and this is how it would go. Um, I simply take it like this, so that's where my arm is, and I stuff and flip. So you see my hand is in the diaper. Um, I take this flap and pull it over my arm and pull it out. Now it, it takes like a little bit of adjustment to make sure that it's flat inside of the diaper and not folded, but that is how you stuff a reusable cloth diaper. So when my daughter was younger, that is all I needed in order to um, make sure that it absorbed everything. Um, but as she gets older, she has, you know, more pee or whatever the case may be. So it needs a little bit of extra protection. So um, there are a few ways that I did, that did this, learn to do this. Okay. <laughs> um, it's customizable because you can add more inserts to a singular diaper, whether it be the same insert you already have on the inside, a different kind. You can also add these overnighters. And as long as they're not microfiber, you also have the choice to put it inside the pocket um, or put one inside the pocket and put one outside the pocket. And this is a great trial and error because I'm still gonna use these inserts whether I decide to double stuff them or not. Um, I get to match and match. Um, and as I learn, I figure out what method works for me. So the method that works for me and my daughter is during the daytime, now that she's older and needs a little bit more cushion um, and absorbency, if that's the word. I, during the daytime, I have one liner, which is one the bamboo liner you just saw me put in there, or the charcoal liner. I can also put in there the same way, but just one liner on the inside of the pocket. And then I take an overnighter and I place it in the in-between. And then I put it on my daughter, snap her up. And this I found is a great way to make sure that it's absorbing everything without any kind of leaks. Um, so that is enough uh, inserts to make sure that my daughter doesn't leak if I'm changing her within a decent amount of time. And my daughter's nine months old now. That has been working from six months to now. Now, at night, what I do at night is, I'm gonna unstuck this, I take two bamboo liners and I stack them on each other and I stuff it the same way that I just showed you. Again, there's two liners. And I do this because at night, I'm gonna be honest with you, I do not change my daughter overnight. I do not do night changes. If she's sleeping, I'm going to let her sleep. I'm gonna wake her up in the middle of the night to change her diaper and then try to get her back to sleep again. So now this pamper has two liners in it. It's a little bit more thick than a diaper that only has one, but not by much. And it's also at night, so she's not like she's running around or going to the playground, she's sleeping. She doesn't necessarily notice the extra thickness. Um, this was enough for my daughter, especially when she was still only sleeping on her um, back. But when she started to roll over, I realized that she needs a little more, um, a little more support in the absorbency category. So these tassels, because you notice the shape of these inserts, if this is an insert, you notice that there's no, there's nothing absorbing things here on the sides, which is what goes on her waist. So as she started to roll and sleep on her side, I realized she would leak simply because there's no padding on the side when she's sleeping there. So that is where these beautiful overnighters came into play. And what I do with this overnighter is um, when she was mainly a back sleeper, I would put it at the back of the pamper, like this, and wrap it around her, and she would have a little extra uh, uh, coverage around her, her sides and her back. Now that she sleeps mainly on her stomach, I will put the diaper on her, and then wrap this around the front of her waist, I realize 
I'll do a video that shows how I put diapers on her. And that way she has more coverage in the front. And that is a method that I love. It's worked for me. In the morning time, she doesn't really have leaks unless I maybe let her sleep early and then let her sleep in late. Uh, but for the most part, that is enough coverage. As long as I change her first thing in the morning, there aren't any leaks. That took a lot of trial and error, figuring out how to get through the nighttime without having to change her and not have a wet bed. But that technique really, really works. So I stand by these, um, these overnighter liners. They're so simple, they're so affordable, they're a really great option, and they give me the extra coverage that I need. Okay, okay. So I do realize that this video is going to be kind of long and if it's over 30 minutes, I'm going to splice it in half and do one section and then the other because I don't want you to have to sit through some really, really crazy long video. The next thing um, that I think is important to talk about, uh, we talked about what cloth diapers are. I showed you, uh, you know, a cloth diaper, the kind that I use with your pocket diapers. I showed you inserts, bamboo inserts, which are my favorite, charcoal inserts, and overnighters, which are a nice little addition. Now let's talk about the customizable piece when it comes to this diaper. So this is what a cloth diaper looks like. Now, different companies may look a little bit different, but this is the standard. And I'll show you what I mean by different companies look a little bit different. This is Nora Nursery, which I've said before is one of my favorites. Okay, you see the three rows of snaps, three across and three up and down. And then you have the rows up top. Um, this is a company that, that does it a little different. And it is not stuff right now, so hopefully it doesn't throw you off. Uh, this has four snaps at the bottom. And it has just a straight row across of snaps. So we have this, let me see if I can, that makes sense. This in comparison to this, let's see if I can get it to focus, there we go. So you see the slight difference there, but I say most companies are the same because it's true. This is a Nora Nursery diaper. This is the company baby goal. Oh my gosh, I didn't grab one with the patterns, but you can kind of see the snap design is similar. One, two, three, and buttons across in a similar fashion as this one. And then you have this brand, which is called Alva Baby here and it also has a similar snap design as the Nora Nursery. So this is the design that I'm going to use as an example. So the buttons here are for you to customize for as small of a baby as possible. Now they say eight pounds is as small as you can start. Um, my daughter was eight pounds and one ounces and she was still a little small for these diapers. So I didn't really start exclusively cloth diapering until she was around two months or one and a half months. But um, I'm gonna show you what it looks like to make it the smallest size. So you're gonna take the top snap to the bottom snap. Right. And it's a simple snap. Okay, now that's nice and snug. And then when you wrap it around the baby's waist, I'm gonna put one snap here, on the farthest end, okay? Now you see this, the sides vary a little bit. Okay, let me see if I can focus in on my hands and not me, there we go. <laughs> so this one has four and this one has only two. So this is the side that's gonna give you the most um, versatility. So instead of snapping it in its normal fashion, I'm gonna overlap it a little bit more, assuming that my baby is extra small. Okay, that overlap there. And that leaves room for this to snap and overlap with the other panel. And at some point I'll show you what this looks like on a teddy bear. There we go. Okay, 
So this is making the diaper as small as possible, but these snaps allow the flexibility for you to change it according to your baby. Again, it's trial and error, but um, once you know, again, a lot of the diapers are shaped the same way and have buttons the same way, so you can use the same method for all of them. And that is how you adjust accordingly. And as your baby grows, you let go of more snaps, loosen it out. Um, and obviously when I'm double stuffing or triple stuffing at night, sometimes I need to loosen it up a little bit on her waist and that is natural. But that is how you customize a cloth diaper. Okay, so we tackled the saving that you do when you cloth diaper. I tackled um, the different kinds of cloth diapers and showed exactly the diaper that I use, which is a pocket diaper. I showed you how to stuff a diaper, the different kind of inserts, inserts that I like, how I do it during the day versus how I do it at night and just in general how to customize. And we also talked about how to bring down the size and make the size bigger. Um, the only other thing that I think I would like to cover is, you know, what I do to make it accessible. Um, and I will show you that next. Okay, so this is how I store the cloth diapers in my house to make it um, easy for me and then also easy for anybody else who might be helping me out. Um, yeah, I have these wicker baskets all throughout my house because I think they're a cute way to organize and I even have like mess baskets where I just throw anything in there. But I will stuff these baskets with as many diapers as I can fit and I kind of reset them. I'm gonna be honest, like every other day. <laughs> um, in the beginning, it was kind of like every night because she was using more diapers. Um, and I stuffed them with all of the diapers. They are already snapped for how my daughter needs them to be snapped. Again, one thing that I mentioned, so I focus it on. I feel like I am back in, <laughs> there we go. Uh, as I mentioned, um, she is a little bit older, so she needs a little bit more support. So I also have the diapers ready with the overnighter and these are all packed the way that I need them for the daytime. So they are already snapped how I need them and they already have the overnight liner. So when it comes time to change it, I grab this with some wipes, change her and that's it. Um, and that's how I store it. And once I have changed my daughter, I use the same diaper pails that anybody would use um, or that you probably have at home. But the way that, and it has a wet bag inside. So instead of disposable, that's the next thing I can talk about. It's a bag that you can order that is also waterproof and it's also washable. And that's what goes inside of my diaper pail. So when it's laundry day, I just pull the bag out and then I wash that along with everything else. Uh, once my daughter has soiled a diaper, I take it off from her. And then, let's see if I can show you, I roll it tight. And I take these sides. And I snap it. And this is how I um, you do the diapers once they have been soiled. And then I, wow, my hands are ashy. Don't judge me. <laughs> Don't mind me just fixing my hands, moisturizing my ashy hands. They were really dry, it's a shame that my hands were so ashy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I had to fix that because that was wild. Why y'all let me do this whole video with ashy hands? I'm not judging you, but I'm judging you. Had to get that straight. Anyways, what was I saying? This is how I store the diaper once uh, I'm done changing her. And uh, it makes it a little bit more work on wash day, but it helps keep the smell in. Um, and also if I'm traveling, it's less likely that it'll be touching other things or even if I don't have a wet bag with me, it just makes it a lot easier. So that's how I store my diapers. Okay, so that is my um, first video explaining cloth diapers. I'm sure I've missed a ton of things, um, but I will at some point make a follow-up video with other things that I didn't get a chance to talk about 
And if you all have any questions, you can let me know and I'll also include those in the next video. But cloth diapering is a lot more feasible than it may seem. So if you have even an inkling of a curiosity about it, I would say do it. Truly do it, it's so worth it. And if you end up having more than one child, you can use the same cloth diapers, um, which may seem a little wild, but really it's not. It's the same as hand-me-down clothes. I showed you all what an insert looks like. I've been using these inserts plenty of times and they're still just as wide as they were when I bought them. Uh, once they're clean, they are clean. Um, another thing about cloth diapering, I have really sensitive skin, therefore my daughter has really sensitive skin. She used to have diaper rashes um, when she was using the disposable for the first month or so. She has not had any diaper rashes since. Um, the fabric is so much easier on her skin. She used to cry the moment she wet herself. Now I literally have to hunt this girl down in order to change her diaper because they're so comfortable for her. They are cute. They're so cute. Um, and you get to choose the designs that you wear. They are affordable. Again, y'all, you're saving, what did I put down on this sheet? You're saving at least $1,359, at least. And there's plenty of more that you're saving. The washing is not as much of a hassle as you think it's going to be. If you're breastfeeding your baby, their poop is water soluble, which means you can just toss it in the washing machine. And maybe that's what the next video will be about, is like the nitty gritty stuff. Um, and it's just, it's such a good way to go. I remember when I did have to use disposables and not realizing that I was on my last one or two and having to run to the store, but because I was on my last one or two, I had to get them to CVS and pay higher prices because I didn't have time to go to whatever store, whatever, whatever other store had better prices. So just cloth diapers are the way to go. They are easier to potty train, they say, um, and I would have to agree, we use the potty. Um, so whenever I see her poop cues, I take her to her potty and I've been doing that since she was about six months and I think it's easier for her to go that way and it makes poop diapers easier. Uh, so I'll make a next video on the nitty gritty bits, but hopefully this was a enough to let you in on a little bit of the cloth diapering journey and sharing a little bit of what works for me and my daughter. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. If you've already started uh, your journey, let me know how that's going for you. Um, and if any of this was helpful or informative, let me know. Um, yeah, before we go, one last thing. Uh, one question that I get a lot are, what are my favorite brands? And you've heard me say Nora Nursery, Nora Nursery, Nora Nursery, but it's true. Um, Nora Nursery is on the more expensive side of the cloth diapers and by expensive like I said it's $65 for seven diapers um, It's not as expensive as some of the other brands, but I love the designs of Nora Nursery. They are cute. They're sleek um, I really really like the the options that they have They're my favorite brand. They're durable. They come in eco-friendly packaging, which I love um and they are just a solid bet. I haven't had Nora Nurseries rip on me, break on me. They don't leak unless I'm doing something incorrectly. Um, they're just a solid bet and they're a great, great, great way to go. Now I'm not going to lie, when I was navigating all the other things and I maybe was a little tight on my budget because I'm still figuring out how financially to be a parent, I did need a cheaper option. For cheaper options, things like Baby Goal, Owl of a Baby, and Amna Baby. Baby Goal, Alva Baby, and Amna Baby are three really great affordable options. When I say affordable, saying that you can get six for anywhere from $25 to $35. Um, and I still use those cheaper diaper options. I showed you all some just now. Um, the one reason that I like Nura Nursery over those though is that I find that the designs for like these other cheaper versions they're more baby-ish if that makes sense like they have have some that have lemons on them and um little cartoony bees or like neon colors and i found that the nora nursery diapers um and i think this whole tray of nora nursery diapers more earth tones um more cute 
I think, that are cuter designs. So that's one of the biggest differences between Nora Nursery versus like Baby Goal Alpha or Amna. But other than that, the functionality, they work wonderfully. I believe the those three cheaper brands may come with microfiber, but again, you can buy bamboo liners anywhere and use them for any of your diapers. So that is just a, a quick little summary on the other um, diaper companies that I use other than Nora Nursery. You can find most of them on their own websites, but you can also um, get it all from Amazon. I know they got some moral issues to work out, but they do offer a wide range of diapers. If you are curious, you can again ask questions below or read the reviews and normally they tell you what you need to know. So this is my video, hopefully not too long, on the cloth diapering journey, my cloth diapering journey. And hopefully if you're watching this that you'll give it a try and hopefully as a woman of color you were able to see um, that a bunch of different kind of people do cloth diapering. It's not as taboo as we think and it's a really amazing journey. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in and hopefully I'll talk to you soon. Bye y'all.